All right, so now we'll have to use a feed here. So all we have to do is now call our function feed two inches. So I'm going to call feet two inches here. And feet two inches is we, def we defined it or we designed it to accept the user feet, which we have stored here. So I'll copy this user feet and then I'll paste it here like this. We've called the feet two inches, we've passed in the user feet, and the way the function works, it returns the inches, right? So we need a place to store it. We need a place to store it. When it's returning the inches, we need a place to store it. So let's define a variable and call it inches. Again, this inches variable is not the same as this inches variable. This inches variable is only working in this fit to inches function. And this inches variable is only working in this main function. Again, they are like twins, but they, they are not the same. They, they don't see each other. This is inches function. As far as this main function is concerned, there's only one inches function. It doesn't even know of this. And as far as this fit to inches function is concerned, there's only one inches variable. It doesn't even know of this one. So again, they don't see each other. All right, so inches is going to, I'm calling feet to inches, converting the feet, user feet, the user feet, okay, to inches. And it's going to store, be stored in inches. And when I'm done, I want to go ahead and print it. Print inches. Well, well let's add a, a, some kind of a message, right? Because we have the feet, we have the inches. So let's, let's create some kind of a message and say, user feet, which is what the, what the user typed. And then I'm going to concatenate. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to pass it in, in, in as a separate argument in the print function, right? So user feet, that's my first argument. I'm going to say converted to inches is, that's my second argument. And then my third argument is inches, right? So user feet converted to inches is inches. Now, when you pass in arguments to the print function this way, they are displayed by default with a space separate in them, right? So in essence, you are, this, it's, this is going to be displayed as user feed. Let's assume it's four. It's going to be displayed as four space converted to inches is space inches. By default, these arguments are separate, uh, separated with a space when they are displayed. So, th so, that, so that's in essence what's happening. And um, it looks like we're done, all right? Let, let's run this program and see what happens. So I'm going to debug this, save selected files, and I'm going to save it where I normally save the Python, um, Python program. So on the next step, I've created a shortcut to actually where the, where the files are saved themselves on, on the cloud in Dropbox, but I have created a shortcut um, al aliases on the desktop of my computer. So in Python, programming challenges, well, this was supposed to be in one of the in, in the um, one of the folders. So, it's in chapter five. I'll create a new folder in chapter five and call it feet two inches. And I'll cre create the folder. And I'll, I'll save this file also as feet two inches dot pi. Okay, so let's see what happens. Um, this was a previous program. All right, so let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> nothing happens because it makes sense because look, we've defined functions. Again, I, I always forget to do this. I always forget to do this, especially when I'm doing the videos too. Um, we've defined the feed to inches function. We've defined the main function. We've only defined it. We haven't called any of them. So nothing really happens. Uh, we didn't get any errors though, so that's fine. I mean, we're, we probably are not going to see if we have any errors until we call it. So now we've only defined the functions we haven't called called any of them. Now because main meth the main method is basically running the whole show because it's calling the this method in, in that's basically where our program is. Let's go ahead and call the main method this way. So now we have everything in main. Main, main method is going to ask the user, convert to inches, display the result. So now let's run it. And it's now asking us, please enter the number of feet. And I'm going to enter one feet, I'm expecting 12 inches you know, back. So when I hit enter, now it says 1.0, well, I should add feet here. So 1.0 feet. Um, yeah, feet converted to inches is, and then add another argument here, and then it's going to be inches. So let's run this again. 
one and it says one feet converted to inches is 12.0 inches right now the user can type in we don't want this converted to let's say a, a number right sorry sorry a, an integer right because the user can type in let's say 2.5 2.5 here or yeah 2.5 so we don't really want to convert this to an integer, but this we want to actually format it a, li a little bit because we can have numbers like let's say three point zero zero eight seven five six. We can have a really you know we ha can have lots of decimal places. So we 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 want to format this uh, inches variable, and we can do that with a format function here. So let's format it to. Um, now the format let's format it to let's say two two decimal places right now the format function takes in two arguments, what you want to format, which is our inches, and how we want it format, formatted, which is going to be our format specifier. We're going to specify how we want it formatted here. All right, so first of all, inches, we want it formatted as a float. So I'm going to type in F to represent the float. I want it, it formatted to two decimal places, so I'm going to specify the precision in front of the type. So I'm going to type in point 0.2 to represent precision, and that comes before the type. Okay. If I wanted it format, formatted to three decimal places, I'd say point 0.3. Now I want it formatted to two decimal places, I'd say point 0.2. Okay, the precision comes before the type. So this is what I want to format. This is how I want it formatted. So now when I run it, every time it should be formatted to two decimal places. So let's say 6, and it's 72 inches. If I run it again and I try, let's say, 1, and it's 12 inches, right? I type in 2, and it's 24 inches. The only thing is I want a space, or some kind of a line break after this question or this display yeah, kind of a question before the answer is displayed, OK? So I want to basically yeah, separate, them, separate them with a line. Now, there are multiple ways to do this. Um, when you, this, so this is the part asking us the question, and this is the part displaying it. This is the part calculating it. So after I've asked the question, I want to go ahead and, and um, create some kind of a space. Okay. Now, now when you call the print function and you type in something like this and you run it, it's going to do exactly that and display it. So when I type in something like this, it's going to do exa exactly that and then print what you whatever you told it to print. In this case, I told it to print this. You can see this printing exactly that. Now. Um, by default, the print function always ends with a new line character. Right, meaning that it's going to print what you've told it to print, all right. But after it's done, it's going to move the position from where it's at right now, let's say here, to the end of this line, okay, to the to the next line, to the beginning of this line. It moves it from the end of what whatever whatever you told it to print to the next line, all right. So after it's done printing this, it moves it to the next line. And anything that comes after the, after this, after what you've told it to print, is going to be displayed from that next line. So by default, the print function always moves the position from where it's at to the next line, all right? And then anything that comes after this thing you've told it to print is going to be displayed on that next line like this. And that's why uh, this, this st print statement was displayed on the next line because the print function after displaying this moved to the next line, moved to the next line here. When you call the print function and you, you type in nothing, so in, in it, you're, you are telling it to print nothing over here on this line. You're telling it to print nothing. But the way the print function works is by default, it still moves the position from where it's at to the next line here. So you are telling it to print nothing on this line, but still move the position from where it's at to the next line. And anything that comes after this print function, basically this empty line, is going to be displayed on that next line. So this is a way to create an empty line, a kind of simulate or create an empty line. And it works, it makes sense, because by default, the print function always ends with a new line. So when I call this and I when I when I run this program and I type in one, we can see that there's a new line here and we can see our answer here. So that, that's what, what what I wanted to achieve. Another thing is you can I can go ahead and let me go ahead and delete this. And then now we are back to where we started. Um, I type in one here, we are back to where we started. No line separating them. Um, another thing you can do is by using the uh, let's see is by using the new line character. Now it's, we, yeah, we can, you can use the new line character. Now because of the way I have um, passed an argument into the print function, I don't really want to um, do this, but it's fine. Let me just use it and show you, show you. So I'm going to concatenate a new line character to the user feet 
right? So I'm going to concatenate a new line char character backslash n to the user feed like this. Now we'll fix this thing. I'll talk about this in a second. We are exceeding this line here. I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. So this whole literal now becomes the this whole literal now becomes the first argument, right? Now this new line character it goes in strings, all right? It's a it's a it's a string, all right? But anytime you type in a backslash, you're starting an escape sequence. The new line character is the backslash n together. Both of them, that's the new line character, backslash n. When the interpreter sees the backslash, it knows that a special character is coming. That does something special. As soon as you type in a backslash, it knows that some um, you're going to type in one of the special characters. And n, okay, backslash n is the new line character. When it sees this backslash n, it basically moves the position from where it's at to the next line. So in other words, after this displayed, after the question displayed over here, the next thing it's well, we, well the input function also also moves to the input function also when it's done displaying moves to the next line. So after displaying the question, it moves to the next line here. Oh, let me just let me go ahead and run this so we, I can explain it better that way. So, oops, oops, oops. Let's see. Um, okay. So yeah. Well. <laughs> all right. So this is a. It's complaining that it, it cannot. Um, Cannot, it cannot implicitly convert. All right. Must be string, not float. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is, if this was, let's say, a string, well, let's say something here. Okay. In, instead of concatenate, it's complaining because we are trying to concatenate a string to a uh, float, which should work, but then. It, it doesn't want you to do. It doesn't want to do it implicitly. It wants you to do it. Um, it wants you to, um, you know, to specify it, you know, yourself. So you can s simply, you know, do this. Convert this value to a string, and it, and it wouldn't have any problem concatenating a string to a string. Doing this would fix it, right? But but um, I don't want to confuse you any further. So, but this also works, right? So this also works, right? Actually, we should do that. We should we should, we should keep we should stick with that. But another way you can also fix it is by calling this as an as an argument on its own, the new line character as an argument on its own. Let's see something here. You can see that that also fixes it. But but it's a problem here. This is space because by default each argument is separated by space. So so let's not do that. That's bad. <laughs> let's stick with the first one. I am just trying to do you do this to explain to you the new line character. So that's also one way to try to create a space. So now let's go back to where we were, and now we're back to square one. No line separates in them. And then go back to the new line character. We are now concatenating a string to a, to a float here. So it's complaining. It wants us to do it ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and con convert this number to a string. So now it wouldn't have a problem concatenating a new line character to basically a string to a string. All right. So. The reason why it does this, this new line here is after it displayed the question here. Now we said the input function also entered a new line. So after displaying the question, it moved to the next line. That's how the input function works. So now we're here, and then it saw the new this, this new new line character as the first argument. This new line character forces the position to move to the next line. So we move from here to the next line here, and anything that comes after that new line character is displayed on that next line, and that's why. Everything else was displayed on that line. So the new line character basically forces you to forces the uh, position to move to the next line, or or basically create a line break. That, so that's another way to display a, uh, a line break. But let's 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 go back to the first. You can either stick with this, or you can stick with what we did here by typing in the print function. Well, that was that was here. Oops, my typing is not good. I rush too sometimes. All right. So now we can stick with this one, and then we are fine. All right. Yeah, so that was just to explain to you the you know, two ways or like various ways to do, to do it. Okay, and we are done. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please, as always, comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, take care of yourselves, as always. <laughs> um, have a nice time. Have a nice day. Have a good night, good sleep, 
uh, good day um, um, <laughs> I keep on talking all the time huh? and I'll see you next time with the next program alright then bye bye